Elliot, something that will go great with beer, great with milk, great with anything, actually. Yeah. <laughs> we have uh, uh, John, Chef John from Triple N Triple C. C. <laughs> we're talking about beer before. <laughs> um, and we are making something that either people, we were saying, hate or love, guacamole. Guacamole, uh, either hate or love, and also cilantro that goes in the guacamole. People either love it or hate it, right? And I love, and together, they're one of my favorites. Yes, and guacamole is great with beer and chips what and summertime <laughs> cookouts <laughs> so it's, i think it's a great i didn't even know it was buffalo beer uh, beer week so there you go great, great opportunity so uh what we have today is the guacamole and quick ingredients uh i looked over a couple different uh recipes and i just made sure that the standards of guacamole need of course avocados okay great uh healthy um fruit for us it's uh poly and unsaturated uh, poly and mono unsaturated fats they're creamy, they're great, but they're kind of like bland unless you do something with them. So we need to jazz them up. So to jazz them up, we're going to do a little fresh tomato. Okay. Garlic, jalapeno. Ooh. Uh, we're going to do a little green onion in there. We're going to save the red onion for later for a second helping. And we need a little uh, acid to, to cut it, to cut yes. the fattiness. So we're going to use a little, uh, did some lemon and lime juice to cut oh. that. Do a little salt and pepper and just kind of in fresh chopped cilantro. Fold everything thing together to make a nice chunky guacamole. Then you can use it for chips, you can use it for a lot of different stuff, and I'm going to use it for my second helping. Now, let's tell people, you're making, you're going around the world with us today, yes. you're making beef and beef shrimp. And, uh, beef and shrimp satays, which are Indonesian, it's like a kebab, like a small kebab mm -hmm. for hors d'oeuvre party. Uh, guacamole is from Mexico, originated with the Aztecs in the 1600s. And then our second helping, you're and taking our us second to helpings, Asia. What's that? You're taking us to Asia. <laughs> to Asia. We're going to do some <laughs> Vietnamese spring rolls with all the ingredients from Mexico. And so uh, it'll be a multicultural <laughs> an endeavor. <event. laughs> all right. Terrific. Can't wait. Love guacamole. We're going to put that together, uh, I believe, next time. Yep. Next year, next yep. segment. We're going to start getting things together. All right. Back to you, Allie. Chef John Matuiko from NCCC, uh, just giving me a little history lesson on avocados. You, you'll have to Google it, and you might find some inf interesting information about what they used to call the uh, avocado tree. The avocado tree. <laughs> we won't giggle about that. Okay. But we're going to start out. We're going to be making guacamole. You're going to show us the simple for, tricks. The first first trick is to open up the avocado. Okay. So why don't you okay, grab a knife, okay. and you got to go into the top, mm -hmm. and what you do, pierce into it. Always look for a soft avocado. Right. Not a but hard not one. Smushy. You, not smushy, but not hard, because you can hurt yourself either way, right? Okay. Nice and nice and firm still. Pop it in there. And then move the fruit. Oh, you move the fruit. Move the fruit. Don't move the knife. Okay. Okay, so that way you're watching the knife. Okay. okay? And then you just kinda twist. Voila. Voila. And then put the one down that doesn't have the pit. Take the mid section to, to the heel section of the knife, pop it in there, hit it, and then twist. Oh, but you know what? That is so amazing. I take a spoon and try to scoop it out, scoop and it it's awful, though, because okay. it still connects with the, the fruit. Okay. And so what we're going to do is just gently hit it with a little spatula off. With the spatula. You're going to okay. hurt yourself. There you go. Oh, there you go. And then what we do... Just scoop we'll it put out. The knife, we'll put the knife down. Then take a butter knife. And we're going to score it three times on the inside, the long way, a couple times... That way, you do it. Okay, I've and got. Then, we've got five seconds left. Okay, then we're just scoop. gonna scoop this out. Excellent. There you go. And then we're gonna get all the ingredients in, and we'll be all ready all right, to go. We're gonna toss everything together, and then in our next we segment, we're gonna um, talk about the other, the beef and the shrimp satays. Okay. Back to you, Allie. I love that. I wish I would have thought of that. All right, thank you very much, Allie. We have uh, Chef John Matuiko from N Triple C. We're making guacamole. We're making satays, and we're gonna make um, egg rolls. Little. Spring rolls. Spring right rolls. Okay. Egg roll spring Let's rolls. Let's go. All, right. uh, all the ingredients. We got uh, green onions. Pop right, right in here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Put it, that's fine. That's fine. A uh, little garlic. Not all of it. Yeah, just my, a little bit. My own, that's only good. duty was to dump. <laughs> You're fine. And then you got the jalapeno. Go ahead. And we're just going to mix. I already put the uh, le uh, lemon and lime juice in there. You need the acid on the avocados or they start oxidizing turning and brown. start turning brown. So you need that, uh, that acid on there. I already put some salt in there too um, to start flavoring up the avocados. Look at that. Doesn't oh, look that great? That is beautiful. I just okay. want to eat that like that. <laughs> A bunch of chips. Now what we're going to do, you're going to puree this. We're going to pop some in there. We're going to take some for chips and other things later. Okay. Put the top on. Or actually, let's get a little sour cream in there. There you go. About okay. two ounces of that. Go ahead. And, and then hit the on. There you go. Now, 
a little beer. This is a this is a light beer. Oh, for the it's guacamole. A, for the guacamole. For me, for holding the button down. <laughs> <laughs> and it has a little uh, citrus and honey in the, in this beer. It's a uh, is that a buffalo beer? I know Tim Herzog may be mad at me for not using buffalo beer, but convenience sake, we needed a bottle. Now um, you should get a beer that has some kind of citrus in it. Citrus and lighter. You don't want a heavy beer. Okay. Okay. Then you're looking good there. Uh, yep. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna put the chunky. Yet? We're gonna put the chunky one in there, and then we're gonna put the smooth one in another glass. Look at that. That's not look great. Mm, I love this. I can okay. eat this by the spoonful. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is open that up. Just, just put it right there. Your next one, and we're gonna put that right there. Okay. Open this up, and then we're gonna do nice smooth guacamole. And then we're gonna add some to a nice little satay. Satays are an Indonesian dish. Uh, that is similar to the kebabs from the Middle East. So, you know, it's just uh, it's just skewering up any kind of meat. It could be chicken, lamb, beef, anything pork, you like. anything that you like. And then this is going to be nice. It's like a sauce for it. I have to try this. It looks really great. <laughs> I can't imagine what it tastes like. Should have some serving utensils for you. How's that? Oh, you know what? It gives it a little zest with you that give beer. It a little, you can little taste zest. it. You can taste it. I don't want the alcohol to come out, you know, and overpower it. Okay, so what we have are the satays, and all I did with the, for the satays, um, I just kind of uh, lightly coated them with some oil, and just take some pantry um, spice blend that you have. I just took a dry rub, uh, like a barbecue rub on this one, mm -hmm. and I did a, a, like an, um, a lemon and herb rub on the shrimp. Okay. So you can just pretty much take anything out of your pantry. What kind of beef this should is, you This use? is actually, uh, this is a flank steak, cut against the grain, and then I skewered them like that. Okay. You can use a, You're you can, talking to an ignorant cook okay, right now. What do you mean against the grain? How can against you tell? the grain. Uh, the grain is going like this way. Okay. Right. You can actually see. And you're, it. You, yep. You can see the grain. I was gonna pick one up this morning too, just to bring in for a showpiece. You're gonna cut against the grain. Okay. So it's nice and tender when you eat it. Right. If it's with the grain, it's gonna be stringy. Gotcha. Okay. So right. that's good. So what we're gonna do? We just lightly oil them. Season. We're gonna pop them in the oven, and then when they're done, they look just like that. Can you grill you can, them? You can we're grill in the them. Months? You can grill them. You can broil them. Uh, I like to grill them. Okay. And they get the little charred flavor. Then you put that there, and then what you do is grab <laughs> and one. You, and you try grab it. one. You have a nice little hors d'oeuvre party, and you have <gasps> these couple dips to go with it. Does that look great? That go looks ahead. delicious. I have to try this. Mmm. That's wonderful. With all the flavors with together the, with yeah. this, and with with the all the richness of the the fattiness of the avocados, and then the and the acid from the the beer and the and, and the, the beer, you know what? It gives it just that little zest. Just a little. And what, what do we do? Like two ounces in there? Uh, yeah, maybe we don't want any more, right? Because then what no. would we drink? No, yeah, you need that for later. <laughs> you need that to wash it down <laughs> to celebrate Ellie's birthday. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> Ellie. I'll get the straws. <laughs> Wave. So, um, all right, we're gonna tease what we're gonna do. So we have the satays on the main dish for an hors d'oeuvre party. Now, it, with the leftovers, we're going to make another hors d'oeuvre. Okay. We're going to do a little spring roll. We're going to take all these ingredients and we're going to kind of combine them into a little spring roll. And with, we're going to do gonna that in our second helping. Yep, and we're going to chop up the meat and pop that in the spring roll, and Not it's going to look I really cool. One. Okay. <laughs> all, right. all right, with that, we're going to send it back to Allie. You know things are getting serious when the chef says you got to put gloves on. <laughs> so right now we have made the satays, we've made the guacamole, and now you're taking us to Vietnam with the spring rolls. Yep, we chopped up the uh, the beef and the and the shrimp, and we made some spring rolls over here. And I'm just going to show you how to do them real quick. So what we're going to do is this is uh, rice paper mm -hmm. sheets, and we are just going to re reconstitute them a little bit, just a little warm water. Okay. okay. And that's it. That's it. Warm that's water. all you got to do. You don't have to do too much, and they become pliable really quickly oh, like that. that, right? Yep. And just let you know. It'll, Take about 30 seconds. All right, now what we're going to do, we're just going to take a little of the cilantro. Okay. Put that down. And we're going to sprawl, sprawl that out a little bit. And then we're going to do next, we're going to do a little tomato on there. This is pretty cool, huh? And then a little fine julienne red onion for some color. Because you can see right through the rice paper. It looks really oh, yeah. cool, doesn't it? Then we're going to take a little of the shredded up beef. Pop that it's on there. Up really thin. Yeah, really thin. Chef and add. And shredded. Chef and odd? Yes, chef and odd. Little, little lettuce for some 
crunch. This right? is where I think I go wrong. I try to stuff it all in there. Yeah, and then just I can't a little, just a little bit. Then this is just some nacho chips. I'm not going to salt the lettuce. I'm just going to use the nacho chips as the salt. I thought it was Captain Crunch when I first saw it. I thought, <laughs> wow, that's ingenious. And then let's stop it with just a little more of that guacamole. Oh. That'll help keep everything together too. And that's going to be a nice little appetizer, or I'm sorry, hors d'oeuvre. We're going to wrap it just like a little burrito or taco. Bring it up. Bring your sides in. All right. Okay. And then just gonna roll it. Look at that. You see all the colors coming through? Oh, look at Doesn't that. Doesn't that look sharp? That and if you does. wanted to, you can just you can cut those in half and one or bite. You can just put more in there. And then <laughs> or you can put more in there. That's delicious. Look at that. How's that? It's a Mexican Vietnamese spring roll. Thank you for taking me around the world today. You're welcome. Chef John Matuiko from N Triple C.